With more than 5,000 shows under his belt, 19 albums, three books, and a documentary, award-winning folk singer Ellis Pohl has been plenty busy over the past 25 years, and he's far from done. You gotta get Just like his song, which you may recognize from the movie Me, Myself, and Irene, Paul ain't slowing down anytime soon. To mark his quarter-century music milestone, Paul's gearing up for seven performances at the great club Passim in Cambridge, where he'll run through his entire discography starting tomorrow night. Singer, songwriter, storyteller, Ellis Paul, it's a thrill to have you here. Thanks so Thanks, much. Thanks, Jim. For being, you know, every time we have a great musician sitting here, they talk about how they couldn't even stand and they were playing the guitar, they were this tall. You didn't even play the guitar until you were, what, a junior or something at BC? Is that That's what, right. Is that, <clears throat> yeah, what, started, what happened? Uh, I went to BC on a track scholarship, and so I was You're in the jock? Athlete. I was. Well, <laughs> whatever. Was is okay, the operative fine. word. Uh, no longer. Um, and around my sophomore year, I got injured and had to take a year off. And I, that, that's, that's when I started playing guitar. Too. So the most productive injury probably in the history of sports, I would argue. Uh, I was pretty happy with how it ended up. Now, uh, everything I've ever read about you, Woody Guthrie shows up in there. How early yeah. in this kid who started playing the guitar at 20 or something, how early was the Woody Guthrie uh, inspiration like a huge part of your deal? Well, you got to dig back for Woody, uh, especially in my generation. You know, if I, I was born in the '60s rather than coming of age in the '60s, so the folk thing was sort of a, um, you know, something I discovered in college. You're but like a tweener in some ways, aren't kind you? Kind of, yeah, thing? right, yeah, right. I was born in '65, so, um, but through Dylan mainly, like, I discovered Dylan in college and uh, dug back deep enough to to lead me to Woody from from him, and uh, I just came back from the Woody Guthrie Folk Festival. Oh, you did, yeah. And, and you have a relationship with this kid, I've read, and all that. Sort yeah, of I know Arlo and the whole family, and yeah. I'm good friends with those folks. And uh, I put music to some of his lyrics. And that. That's going to so, be thrilling. Yeah. Now, is it true? Is the, the tattoo thing true, or is that apocryphal? It is very true, yeah. And on one of your shoulders, you have a tattoo? It, it's over here, now, yeah. Now, I just want to say, I don't want to make you feel compelled to do anything. Yeah. When I met the nefarious Roger Stone, who, you know, now works... I had been told he had a Nixon tattoo between his <laughs> shoulders, and I said, show it to me. Wow. You know what he did? Showed it to me. Wow. So? Sure. Can you it's, do that? It's a little on the faded side. That's perfectly okay. But this is the, uh, this is the first on television oh my appearance. Is the first weird. ever? I think so, yeah. I love it. On that television. is pretty great. So Got to have remember, it touched up. Do you, is there, do you physically feel in your... Do you remember the first time you played it? I think it was called Passim then. It was 89, oh, I read. October 1989. Do you remember what it was, do you remember what it was like? I remember every, everything about what is, it. What was it like? Well, you know, it's it's got this reputation of being like the Taj Mahal of American folk clubs. I know that. It's, and you walk in, you're like, this is the Taj Mahal. But if you know the, the history of it, and, you know, with Joan Baez and Club 47 in the 60s, and then everyone who's played there, it, it, it rises in stature, and uh, it's a remarkable, remarkable history. And do you remember the feeling in your body the first time you took the stage? Nervous. I, I uh, still have a copy of the check. That you do, I got really? Paid. Yeah, yeah. I never, How much? A hundred bucks. I was Ooh. opening for uh, Bob Frankie That's uh, good. on that weekend, who's a, a, a great local songwriter. So you're doing seven shows at now yes. it's called Club Passim mm -hmm. to commemorate 25 years of touring That's and all right. sorts of things. Can you play just a snippet of sure. something that people will hear this weekend? I found you sitting on a suitcase crying I need my feet, I feel the rumble of a subway train Yeah, I laugh out loud Cause it's the one thing I hadn't been trying Oh, the train came in breathless You looked at me restless Said, baby, you'll never change You gotta get gone you gotta get going Hey, the world ain't slowing down For no one It's a carnival calling out to you yeah. Sounds like a song Hits you like scripture You paint the picture The colors squeeze from your hand Want you to care to just climb On the merry-go-round Hey, look, the world ain't slowing I've never seen a transition Thank from you. talking to playing. It was unbelievable. I mean, seamless. <laughs> so 
Do you do? I read you do two hundred shows a year. I do. That gives yeah. me hives. I mean, it's it, a lot. It's but, a lot. But I do matinees. I do kids shows. I do shows like this. I what's do. the thing? What's with you? And I mean, obviously, the live audience. I assume the reason you do it is because there's this blood thing. Or yeah. Something. What is it? It's become that. Uh, initially, it was the sound of the music and the social aspect of being a musician, the adventure of being on the road, and now it's the performance and writing songs and. You know, having a go at it. It's just I'm I'm so lucky. It's so difficult to be a musician these days, and I'm I'm lucky that I, I'm established and have a loyal audience, and I get to do runs at Club Passim like this. Well, we're it's, lucky to have you. Before great. you go, 25 years. What have you not done that you really want to do in the next 25? Is there something other than see the Aurora Borealis, like we all want to do? How about musically? Is there <laughs> I've seen a, those. You uh, have? Yeah. Oh, I, you jealous. know, I've I've done about everything. If I, you know, if I was hit by a train, it wouldn't be a bad thing. I've done a lot. Uh, but there's always more of the same, which is uh, intriguing. And, uh, you know, I want to be doing this like Pete Seeger. I want to be in my 90s and go out with a banjo in my hand. We all so. want you to, too. Alice, congratulations. Thanks, on Thanks years. so You're much. Fabulous. Appreciate it. It's really great to Thank see you. you. Thanks so much. Ellis Paul, thanks. We'll hear more from him at the end of the show. And, again, you can catch Ellis Paul at Club Passim, the great Club Passim, July 20th to the 23rd, each night at Club Passim in Cambridge, who played different songs from that 25-year career. The seven-show event also includes two family performances, one at four on Saturday, the 22nd, and another Sunday, the 23rd. Tickets are available at Passim, P-A-S-S-I-M dot org.